Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here. I've been reading through these little pamphlets I got from the Creation Science Movement in the United Kingdom. Absolutely awesome. Most of them, almost all of them are like these little bifolds. And uh, just excellent information. It's something I can just sit in the, the lounge chair and read. And, and it's just great stuff. But it's packed full of information. And this one happens to be The Flood, A Short Vindication by Dr. J.E. Shelley of Brisbane. It came out in 1968, abridged 1992. And you can see I make myself all kinds of little markings. So I'm just going to go over just a few of the little subheadings in here. And we'll see, you know, because I believe in Noah's Flood. I, ha I believe it happened somewhere around 2349 BC. That may not be the exact time, but it was somewhere in that neighborhood. And so the importance of the flood, if God judged the world once, he can judge it again. Uh, could there have been such a flood? He goes into scientific reasons why there could. Could the water be distributed over the land surface? Of course it could. Is there any force which could conceivably do this? He goes into the forces that could do that. Is there any evidence that this has occurred? Goes into the evidence, man's history. He goes into man's racial divisions. Now I would not believe even in the races of man. I, I think that's an artificial construct. Man's anatomy anatomical features, population statistics, which are very convincing, animal creation, um, the earth should supply evidence that there's been a flood. Of course it does. That's where fossils come from. Um, let me just read to you like this. When Marco Polo made his famous journey through Central Asia about 1280 AD, his route was through forest and well-watered plains. He noted numerous lakes and visited many flourishing cities. When the Citrian expedition went over the same route a few years ago, these cities were in ruins and the lakes dry and the forest petrified. Okay, and so he just goes into all kinds of things. Giraffes, camels, ostriches, elephants, rhinos, hippos roamed the North African plains and hills in the days of Herodotus where all is now desert. Lake Utah in North America is but a remnant of a much larger salt lake which existed but a few hundred years ago. Lake Erie in South Australia, which was discovered in 1840 by the father of a doctor friend of mine, is now dry. When discovered, it contained many hundreds of square miles of salt water and has a dry basin covering a half million square miles. And he just goes on and on and so forth. Archaeological evidence, and then why did God bring the flood on the earth? So these are just fantastic little pamphlets. Recommend them highly. And don't be afraid ordering from the UK. The Royal Postal Service is absolutely fantastic. I'm here in Georgia in the States. Got it in short order. I think I got it quicker than I get a lot of American mail. And uh, they do the conversion really quick. Just comes on your credit card. So God bless. I will talk with you later. Just keep living for Jesus Christ.